Hello and welcome to the offering here for a recycled draft decks. So this is actually a unique episode. Today I'm taking one of my first draft decks from Akoria, Layer of Behemoths, and a friend of mine wants to verse it with one of his 2020 draft decks. Now, looking at my deck, you're going to see I could have drafted a little better, but that's fine. The whole purpose of this is just for you know a couple guys to get together, just have a good time. We're going to actually do a best of three, winner takes all. So I didn't actually get a companion in this set. So just jumping right into my deck. I have a dead weight, which was, you know, decent removal. A mutual destruction. Doesn't really fit in super well with the deck, but I wanted removal when I drafted it. Uh, the reflex here, I honestly can't tell you why I took it. It's been, I drafted this, I want to say like the first day Akoria came out. Mysterious Egg, not a bad card if you have the synergies for it. Uh, Boot Nipper, got at least one. The uh, Corpse charn can never i can't read guys i'm sorry <laughs> one of my favorite cards i've learned actually how much stronger this is than you might think especially if you're in a reanimator deck which is my favorite format to play in a Coria. a uh, durable coil bug beautiful card because it has late game recursion unlikely aid yeah okay card the uh, blitz of the thunder raptor i can't tell you why this is in this deck because it's a junk card in in my form i don't have enough instants and sorceries to really make it pay off fire prophecy that's an amazing two drop removal and it lets you uh lottery through your hand and this was the card that i picked up first the uh labyrinth raptor i love this card and i'm looking forward to making a deck around this card just the idea that whenever a creature blocks your creature with menace they are forced to sacrifice a creature and oddly enough, when I first drafted this deck, I never drew this card. Every game I played with it, I did not draw this Raptor, and it was super annoying. Call a Death Dweller, great synergy with our Raptor because you can give both of those, you can give uh, one of them a Death Touch counter, and then, oh, you put Death Touch and Menace. I didn't realize that. Yeah, these two are really good synergy. Uh, Frail Scale Mentor, again, we're just going on the Menace path. The Bushmeat Poacher wasn't a bad card, just the fact that it had a draw ability. The other bomb that this deck drew was the Dirigo Bat, a 3-3 Flyer Flash. Whenever it mutates, you can destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Not a bad card. Again, my deck isn't super, like, as you scan through a lot of them, super synergistic. Like, it's not perfect by any means, but it's not a terrible deck. For what we're trying to do, it's, it's perfect. But without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and just jump into the deck that I am going to end up versing. Alright, so, honestly, I, obviously I didn't draft this deck, so I don't have some of the cards that are in it. Healer of the Glade, uh, not a super strong card, but it got really annoying in the format that we were playing, just because you'll see as the games go on, he seemed to always get this. Pacifism, beautiful, great uh, removal, at least in the format that we were playing. Raise the Alarm, not a bad card. The Greenwood Sentinel. I was surprised to find that he only got one of these because I'm fairly confident he played it in every single game. Uh, growth Cycle. Again, this gets immensely better in multiples. Rabid Bite, super annoying removal. The uh, Nightcaster Spider. Creature with flying, he gets plus two, plus zero. Yeah, it's okay. A Scuttlemutt. I'm assuming this is one of those that he last picked because it's honestly it's pretty pointless. Maybe not. Maybe he picked it for the uh, mana ramp ability. Yeah, because I don't have two of it. The uh, Night Pack Ambusher. This was supposed to be his bomb, and the idea was he wanted to go wide with it. The uh, Ticker Crasher. It's, it's a four-three trample, and it says other elements you control have trample. A Dawning Angel, again, just more lifelink. It's a body, it's got flying. Mammoth Spider, the Herald of the Sun. This is pretty decent if you can get it out and let it stay there for a while because you can buff all his flyers. A Vorse Claw, 7-7 seven, seven, big dumb creature. And then his Seraph of the Skyblade was his other bomb that he ended up drafting. It says you may pay uh, planes and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than play this card's mana's cost. Other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. This is a bomb if you've ever seen one, if you can do a good build around. I don't think his deck has a great build around for it, but 
Again, it's still a 7 7 life link that gives other creatures with flying indestructible. And you went 8 planes and 9 fours. But without any further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the best of three match and we'll see who wins. This is disgusting. I can't keep that hand. I can't keep this hand either, but we're going to. That's just going to the ditch. Got such a bad hand here. It's. All right. Well, that makes the hand a little bit better. We're going to start it off with a mysterious egg. Let's see what he does to it. So he's green white. So I think we're going to actually play the uh, Raptor. No attacks. Now what's really fun is I can, whatever creature he plays, I can take control of it for one mana. So I've got a pretty aggressive turn three here if I want to. And that was painful. There goes my bomb. <laughs> no blocks. Take two. Honestly, we're going to do this. We're going to ditch that. That's not what we needed. Hope it doesn't have haste. This isn't going good. I was expecting him to die as quickly as he did. But I should have. He's not a bad drafter. All right. Go ahead and rock some boot nipper. I actually don't know a whole lot of the cards in the 2020 set. We're gonna give him Death Touch. Next. No attacks. In turn. It was a world where I should've just given him life link. Just creating two soldiers. That's fine. That's kinda of sucks for us just because our boot never doesn't get a lot of value against that. Hmm, what's he doing? Got a whole lot of mana there. He gains three life. I'll block the one and just take one. That being said, he's probably got some kind of buff spell. Yeah, I figured. I can mutate this. Mutate onto him. We are definitely going over. We're gonna all attack. First blood, for me at least. <laughs> Let's see what he draws. This guy sucks because this guy's cycling is pretty useless to me. Not bad. I'm going to take three damage here. Middle of the top three. Uh, menace. Our guy's already got Menace. Bring this guy down. We're going to win this trade. Assuming he doesn't draw anything nice. Whew. So if we all have attacks, we kill this, and then we take the rest. Hmm. So, whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. So, if he tries to kill this, he loses everything. So let's see what he does. Just gonna take it. Well, that was a... Um, I still think I cycle this at this point. Is that a death touch counter? That was definitely an oops moment. I should have used his ability. 
and turn. This is gonna be nice. Just because I can make my, uh, whatever this thing, Raptor is pretty big. I wonder what he's got. Yep, that's, that's about it. Five. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Seven, eight, nine, ten damage I'm gonna take. Ouch. So, I can do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right here. Yep. Yeah. And that's the play. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll take win number one. I do have a cycle here. And I've got that as well, so I can always bring it back. Don't think I have a one one drop turn one. He does though. Alright. His go. I'm gonna take a pile of damage here early on. Well, that's kind of annoying. All right, so there's the magic. We're going to drop him even though we don't have any real protection for him. Because I guess in, in my thought process, if he kills him, I can always play this card on it and bring it right back. Unless he banishes it. He does nothing. Hmm. I still think the play here is to all out attack. He probably kills it with something from his hand. Really? Wait a minute, does he have to sacrifice before that? Oh. I did not realize that's how it worked. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty rough on his part. I wonder if you realized that. Um, I definitely think this is the play. Oh God, that's painful. That's really painful because you want really want him. But I have no mutates, so I think this is the play. Alright, so I take one. Um, so normally, I'm just going to summon this guy. Next. And we're going to end our turn. And depending on what he does, we might even just drop this. I don't know. This is really powerful because... We're just going to let it resolve. I don't care. I hate that card. <laughs> Pass. Pass. I'm not going to cycle this. I'm just going to summon it. Nah. Oh, I got to drop mana. Now I wish I... Uh... Wish I summoned that. Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, that costs six. That is an oops moment. So I guess we just hard cast this guy. So it looks like his deck struggles with bigger creatures. I'm not seeing a lot of like great removal. I mean, the uh, growth cycle, maybe a rabid bite is his plan. I'd be curious to know what his deck actually is. Other creatures you control have trample. Hey, that's in um, another set. I think at this point, we mutate onto this. Force him to ditch his hand. He 
Yeah, that's nasty. And I think there's a world we just cycle this. And I have Menace, so he'd have to block me with two, so I'm just going to end turn. Which could have been a mistake, because if he drew an answer for this, which he did not. Hmm. I'm not going to block yet. I'm just going to take it. It hurts. Ooh. That's a sorcery. I'm going to play this on this bad boy. Next. Fallout attack. So we're going to take eight here. I keep forgetting where he's at for a life total. Holy crap, holies. Uh, that's definitely going to be the play now. And then Rumbling Rock slide the next one. This might actually go to him this game. Ow. There's my one life. Blow that bad boy up. And I can't attack. If I attack, I just die. I mean, there's still a very high chance here I'm dead. That's a good game. One and one. All right, so I'm definitely thinking that was a mistake. I'm going to put another Rumbling Rock Slide in here just because it's such good removal. Uh, yeah, heck with that. All right, let's just run right into this one. See what he does. Yeah, that was kind of depressing that I ditched the bat. Because that would have been super strong. I can definitely see some of the weaknesses in this deck, though. I didn't know the uh, Raptor's mechanic worked like that either. Ooh, he's swapping some cards out. Let's see what we can get here. I mean, we got our, our bomb both games, so I'm going to play first. This isn't bad. He's so expensive to mutate on. That is, like, worthless in this deck. I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> Being my one life. Put Death Touch on every time. He must have like four of those in his deck or something stupid. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go Life Link here. Just because he's not playing anything like super broken against it. I don't think it's worth an attack. I think we just end here. I don't actually even know how many instant sorcerers are in this deck anymore. <laughs> it just passes it. That's not a good sign for me. What does he have? Next. No attacks. End turn. So at this point, if he can kill both of these, I don't care. I'll just play my Call of the Death Dweller on him. Which I guess is the pipe dream here. So if he kills this one, I might attack with this. My turn. There's my four I really wanted. 
So there's a world where I just play that. And then I pray that I can... Oh, I can't. I need uh, another swamp. We're going to mutate onto this. He probably has a pacifism in his hand, too. Put a plus one, plus one counter. So it becomes a five, five. So the most he could technically do right now is four damage. But I bet you money he's got one of those um, buff spells in his hand. Over. Makes him discard a card. If I can get two more mana though, mutating onto that again would be bad. Ooh, he ditches a really big spider. Again, I don't care if this dies. That's fine. We can always call up the Death Dweller on it when we get some good value from it. This seems to be a much closer game. That friggin' pisses me off. <sighs> it is what it is. Pop, pop. Well, the advantage, too, is now I know I'm going to keep this no matter what. I lose a lot of value with this, though. I think he was debating whether or not to buff. That's a human, unfortunately, so there's really nothing I can do about that. Huh. I don't have the mana for that, unfortunately. Next. Just gonna have to end our turn here. See what he does. I can kill this if he uh, decides to buff it. Mm, that's not fun. This is when I left it. Wish I left that other card in the deck. So, I think that the deal here is you play this. And I block this. So this dies. And if he wants to save it, he has to buff it. But he's, it will, it's still going to uh, kill it. So the dream here is he makes a mistake and buffs it. Yeah. I don't care. That was a mistake. What? Oh. I made a huge mistake there. That's exciting. Ouch. Is that an instant? No. Ouch. How many instant sorcerers in my graveyard? None. That brings him back to the field, unfortunately. Let's play this. I mean, I'd much rather be able to mutate onto it, but it doesn't make a difference at this point. Yeah, we'll just take control of this. Do the two damage. I think at this point, I have to... I have to just take whatever he attacks with. This pacifism is pretty rough for me. Because he didn't do anything, I'm just going to hold. If I knew it was in the set, I would be a little more... That's a pain in my neck. This seems like such a dead card right now for me. And now we mutate onto this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We 
makes him discard, and then I can kill his 2-2. Two -two. Kill that. No attacks. End turn. Let's see what shenanigans he's going to pull. That's fine. We kill that this next turn. He must have something in his hand. Um, I really want another card in my graveyard to get max value for that, but heck with it. I think we're just going to pop it. I'm giving it a lifelink. Is there anything on my field? Oh, that has flash. So this has instant speed. Next. Doesn't have anything. That's nice to know. So if he finds a way to kill my boot nipper, I can uh, mutual destruction him. Destroy target tap creature. You gain one life for each creature you control with flying. I think I play mutual destruction and I target that because why not? And then I sack that. Resolve. Pass. No blocks. Ow. My turn. Um. I think at this point, we blow this up. And then we all out attack. There was a world where I should have wasted this, but... It would only do four damage with this now. It's gonna do six. Yeah, that's gonna die. This is making his two irrelevant. And as soon as he realizes that he's either gonna kill it or B, he's going to leave stuff behind the blah ah, blah blah frig. That's not what I needed. We're top deck mode, boys. That's not what I wanted to see. That's trample. I'm gonna dodge some of the damage. Good God. Four, five, six, and turn. I'm going to take a pile here. And five, six, seven, eight, nine. We definitely have to play him. I think I still need to keep some damage up. We're still really close. If he's got a buff spell on this, which he might, that has to block. I just die if I don't. Ooh. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Five, six, seven, eight. Can I do that to the player? That's really annoying. 
Good night. I need to not be drawing lands right now. I want to know what he's got in his hand. I'm thinking they're lands. Uh, mutate onto this. Over. I'm going to destroy that. Next. See what he does. No blocks, he dies. Fortunately, I got to end. Oh, okay, I think he got mana screwed. See what we got here. Beautiful. Two to one, guys. That was pretty close, though. Uh, man. Hey, I can't complain. But, till next time, guys. This will be Theophany. Signing off.